Hey, what's up everyone? We're playing some more Pal World today. We're doing Bella Noir Ultra. Let's go ahead and change the difficulty over to normal. Once again, it is on normal. Let's start up this game and right away we're going to go into the fight. This one is going to be a lot of the same prep work that we needed for the Blasimid Ryu Ultra. But I think this fight is actually easier. So with the Blazamut Ryu, we had to min-max most things. Luckily, with this, I already have most of the puzzle pieces together. And we don't need to go as hard. Now, I'm not saying this fight isn't hard. But, like I said, I feel like we have most of the puzzle pieces already there. You know, I we already have all the attack uh accessories we have our attack maxed out we already have all of the guided missile launchers essentially the only work that was needed to be done was getting the jet ragons and getting the chillets right now speaking of chillets for some reason i've gone up until this point and i haven't even made the chillet saddle so let's go home Let's unlock it on the skill tree. Let's go ahead and make it. And then we can just start the fight. That's it. Everything else we're prepped. Like I said, uh, what we're going to be using is the chillet as a riding pal. That will apply dragon type damage to my attacks, which is, of course, super effective against Bella Noir. I have chillets made up just like I did Azerobes for the other fight with Vanguard, with Stronghold, with Burly Body, with Legend, things of that sort. Obviously, max leveled once again. And then our attack pals for this fight are going to be, like I mentioned earlier, the Jet Ragons. Um, yeah. Now, these Jet Ragons, are they good? Yes. They are all level 55, and they've all got great traits. Musclehead, Divine Dragon, uh, Legend, Serenity. These are all really, really great Jet Ragons. Are they sold up? Eh, not really. But, again, this fight is a little easier. I think we can get away with not having them sold up. But, hey, if we lose, then I'll take it back and we'll go ahead and sold them up. But I don't think we'll need it. Um, so, let's go ahead and start the process. You guys are seeing me right now. I am currently using cheeseburgers and all of my Jet Ragons. Got to get their attack up. If you guys don't know what the cheeseburgers do, it gives a 20% attack boost to anything that eats it. So, these are going to be the pals we're going to be using for the entire fight. I want them to have that boosted attack. If you feel like you they're sold up, they're perfect IVs, you could maybe stick something like a Carbonara on them to raise their defense instead. But in my case, I'm going to want to kill this as quick as possible. Along with the Jet Ragons, I'll be burgering up some of these random pals that, you know, I might have to use in emergency circumstances. Why not? And then, of course, we're going to have to use the Carbonara on the Riding Pals. Since they are going to be on me, not attacking, it is more beneficial for them to have defensive boosts on. Then, of course, we're going to have to have four Gobfins in our inventory increasing our attack. That's about it. I have my space near Pen King. We can go ahead and put the slab inside. Let's go ahead and bring the Jet Ragons into the real world. Let's go and spawn them in. And like I said, we're going to get started. It's easy as this. All of the same prep as the other raid, but just a few different pals. Here we go. Let's ride the Chillet. Ten minutes on the board. What's the HP looking like? Okay, that is a lot, but doable. Now... We're going to use the same strategy of using multiple missile launchers, switching over to our second batch just to get a large burst of damage in right off the bat. The more missile launchers you have, the more of an effective burst at the beginning you can have. And then the plan essentially after that is quick reloading between the four guided missile launchers, basically saving a couple of milliseconds in between each reload. and doing damage luckily my jet ragons seem to be doing a pretty good job of staying alive i think we will have to dip into our pool of extra pals and be honest with you these jet ragons have lasted up until about a quarter 
So my next set of Jetragons will probably take me up until maybe one third of its health. And then by the time we get to maybe a third, we'll just probably end up using random pals. Like I said, my damage is real good right now, so I'm not really too worried here. And like the fight before, we're going to have a tiny bit of damage fall off near the end. But at that point, we'll just kind of grit our teeth, try to get through it. Um, I, while it's... Oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say, while the Bella is out, we'll try to do as much damage, but it looks like it's up. But I also wanted to say, uh, I appreciate all the comments. I know you guys have seen me, like, every video kind of basically asking for advice, asking for help. And you guys have been very generous uh, with your advice and your help. And I appreciate it. You know, it's... Uh, it's nice having a little community here helping me out. For some reason, the forums, the wikis, the uh, the, the, and the resources for Pal World aren't always completely complete and accurate, often outdated. So it's nice having people in the comments, you know, all helping each other out. Um, it's nice, especially if you're struggling with this fight. Feel free to look in the comment sections of the past videos. There's often some good info there. But back to the fight. We got eight minutes over half dead. Honestly, we're kind of rolling here. We're we're pretty much cruising. This Chillet's doing a good job of surviving. The Jetragons are doing a great job of surviving. Honestly, shout out the Rocket Boys. Look at them go. This fight is going pretty good. Like I said, it, I, I consider this a much easier fight. I think the attacks are less devastating. Bella Noir tends to stay in the same place. Her attacks often miss the group, like with the Blazamut. When it would hit, it would tend to hit everything. With the Bella Noir, it tends to only hit a few at a time. It doesn't kill all of them. So the sustainability of the pals is much better, which is nice. So that kind of makes it to just being an easier fight. Um, and then there's also like the obvious perks of breeding a good Jetragon is pretty easy like when you when you first catch it it'll already come with legend you know what I mean you're like quarter of the way there um, all right let's put take out some more Jetragons now I'm, I'm speaking like someone who uh, you know gets Jetragons very easily I know it's hard <laughs> I remember trying to get my first Jetragon and it was an absolute nightmare I'm here acting like they're just you know left on the sidewalk you can just pick one up but uh once you really start breeding the Jetragons, the game kind of really picks up here, especially for this raid. Okay, what are we looking at? 100 and something, 6 minutes. Yeah, like I said, we just let it do its move. We're kind of chilling. I don't know how it went so far away from the arena here. But I mean, hey, it's not attacking my chill it, so we're chilling. You know what I mean? See, so just randomly teleported here. Once again, importance of good reloads with your multi-guided missile launchers. The second you see that number switch, the second you hear that click, go ahead and go to your next one and reload. Makes everything easier. Alright, there's the switch. Bella Noir, Libero. Now becomes an Ice-type pal. With a little bit more HP gained. We're chilling. We're just going to keep doing exactly what we're doing. The difference is I will have to get off the chill it because I don't think it's super effective anymore. Let's go ahead and get off the chill it. And just start attacking it manually. we got plenty of rockets. No worries on that end. we got over 5 minutes to do 200,000. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'll do the classic David uh, line of if you guys have any tips, feel free to leave in the comments. Do you guys have any tips for this second phase of Bella Noir? Like I said, I haven't done the best prep just because I expected this fight to be a little easier. I thought I, thought I could get away with it. But for other people who are maybe struggling a little bit more, leave tips for the second phase. I would love to hear them. What can I ride? What can I do different? Yeah, leave it in the comments. But we're doing pretty good. Like I said, with my resources... Like, the amount of, of missile launchers that I have, with my attack maxed out, with my jet ragons, you can pretty much get away with it, I would think. And again, I am on normal mode, so I do not have a damage buff, I do not have a health increase, I, there's nothing, this is normal mode. So, if I can do it, oh, everything just died. If I can do it, you can do it, I promise. 
I know someone in the comment section said something funny earlier, like, <laughs> how, how are normal people supposed to do this? You know what I mean? Like, um, I will say, I think that's the point. I'm very glad this game has something hard. Like, okay, actually, we're in trouble now. 100,000, 4 minutes. If I die here, I could get screwed. I, I can afford to let it attack my pal box for a little while. But I can't give it... See, where's the, why are those rockets hitting the cliff? Uh, Okay, this is dangerous. Let's just try to bring in some emergency pals. Try not to die here. I'm okay on time, though. Let's maybe bring in the German Tides. These things are sold up. Not effective, but they're sold up, so they can take a few hits here. Whew, take some of the heat away from me, because I was I was a little H low HP there. That was uh, that was dangerous. But we got plenty of time, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but anyway, back to what I was saying. One of you guys said, like, you know, how are normal people supposed to do this? I think that's the point. This is This is late game. This is the hardest objective in the game. It's not meant to be easy. It's meant for people to, you know, grind. It takes weeks. So... Yeah, um, it's hard, so, uh, I don't even know where I was going with that, but this is hard, it's a challenge. S saying that, though, we're about to beat it. Here we go. T two minutes, 30 seconds left, Bella, nu Bella Noir Libero Ultra defeated in normal mode. Easy as that, we got ourselves a crown, we got ourselves an egg. And we got ourselves a lifelong memory. Nice. All right. Much easier. Much easier than Blazamud. I feel like I, it's like weird, right? Because like, oh, like that was easy. But like that was easy compared to what we just did. But that fight like wasn't easy, right? I think most people wouldn't say it was easy. All right. <clears throat> I'm sitting here chilling with a microwavable pizza, just chilling, enjoying myself. But I think it's time to try something. One of you guys said in the comments, "Hey, have you tried?" Some of the boss towers in hard mode, and I have not. So let's go ahead and give it a whirl. We're going to do it with... Uh, okay, buttons here. Buttons, sorry. I'm like... My mind is still on the pizza. Right here. The Rain Syndicate. I'm pretty sure this is like the first tower with Grizzbolt, right? So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be running an Anubis. Obviously, Earth-type should be good against Grizzbolt. I've got all of the classic equipment you guys have seen. I'll have some multi-guided missile launchers. I have my attack pendants. The only thing I actually need to do is maybe grab uh, some food. And we can grab some burgers out. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're I think we're pretty much ready. Let's just give it a whirl. See what happens. Um, safe to say, we are currently in normal mode. So, uh, no damage increases, no extra HP, nothing. We are in normal mode. Let's see if we go up in here and get instantly destroyed. Hope not, but you never know. Let's give it a whirl. Let's make sure to keep Anubis out. Oh, I should probably eat. And let's give something to Anubis too. Alright, join boss battle hard. So there we go, V. Alright, here we go. The second we get into this bad boy, I'm going to chuck my Anubis out. Hopefully it can take some of the fire. Uh, I need the shield to come back. No! Okay, so that didn't go exactly how I wanted. But I also made a pretty dumb mistake of... Why did I not have my godfins on me? That was probably my dumbest mistake here. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and wait for this Anubis to get its HP back. And then uh, let's do a wraparound. We'll go straight back into the fight. Look, a little miscalculation as far as dodging some of those moves. No problem. Won't happen again. Also, I should remind myself to get more circuit boards. Because I will need more missile launcher ammo. And one of you guys reminded me in the comments that I could put the, the dumb ones in the ranches to get high quality pal, pal oil to get polymer. So, I will do that. Alright, Anubis, are you done cooking? Are you good? Are you chilling? Alright, almost there. Uh, honestly, the thing that sucked the last fight, I just got hit very early. I think by the homie with the big gun. I just got, I got hit early and I couldn't... Make my way out. So, burgered up. All my missile launchers are good. All right, V. There we go. Hopefully, we won't get um, pooped on instantly. There we go. Let's see, like, okay, that guy needs to go away. 
pretty quickly. Woo. Okay, time to reload. Time to reload. Anubis. You wanna... I really need you to... Oh my god, I really need you to do some attacking here for me, Anubis. Okay, we're dodging. We're dodging. We're rolling. We're dodging. Okay, can avoid that. You know what? I can even maybe hit him like this. Right? Am I in trouble? I think I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble! Anubis! Do something, brother! Please! Alright. Oh, he's gonna get Shrek, isn't he? No! Okay, that gave me a little time to reload. Oh, that Anubis just got cooked. Sorry! What? Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Psych, you suck. Get away from me. You're garbage. Eat these rockets for me. Let's go, baby! Alright, I think two more reloads and we're... As long as we don't die in the next, like, two seconds, we're fine. Please! Unelectrocute me. One more, please. One more. Oh, you're so dead. That's right. Say what's up to my rocket, bro. I was about to say little friend, but... Oh, alright. Get out of my face. Alright, third try. Right? That's not terrible. Third try. That's acceptable. I'll take it. So what happens if we beat this in hard mode? Do we get anything? Are we... Oh. Oh! Oh, we actually get stuff. What? I didn't know we got stuff. Yo. I'm a girl now. Okay, hold on. Nope. Um... Cool. All right. Well, shoot. That actually that makes me want to do all the other fights. Then I didn't know I got stuff. I just thought it was a bragging right. All right. Maybe we try the next one. Who's next? Let's see. So this is the first tower. I'm like pretty sure that this is the second one right here, right? All right. So let's just make sure all of our things are. As they should be. And what we'll need is a fire type pal for this next one. So let's see what we can cook up here. Alright, all, we're good? Alright, so let's go to pal box. We go to sort by fire and by level. Okay, so we have the Blasmut Ryu's. The Jormantide Ignis. These are all, like, not super great. Do I really have, like, nothing good? That's crazy. That I have nothing good as far as fire types. I mean, shoot, I'll take this in, I guess. Why is this so bad, though? Know what I mean? Okay, can I switch its moves? Yeah, it's firewall. Ignis breath. Okay. Okay. Let's take him into the battle. Let's see what happens. We're probably going to lose. But it's... Oh, he's also not... Oh, he's not level... Okay. Dramatide Ignis is kind of nasty. But, you know, okay. No, let's just take it into battle. And let's see what happens, right? That's all we can do. See what happens. I don't, I'm not going to ride it, so I don't need a saddle. Yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go. Let's give it a try. I am very... I don't, like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to win. I know that's a bad omen. I mean, the first one took a couple tries, but that's also... I was just trying to, you know, get get myself prepared here. Yeet. All right, here we go. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't even need another burger, to be honest, so we're chilling. All right, hard mode. Bang. Let's, uh, let's, we're jumping right in. No hesitation. We're built like that. We're the best in the world. Here we go. Bink. A couple of devouts chilling about. Again, wait, did you just heal? That's illegal. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to heal. That is illegal. Okay, time to reload. Ow. Hey, Blasma Ryu, you want to do something? Okay. Oh, my God. Ow. All right, we're good. We're good. Hey, Blasma Ryu is doing something. Kinda. Okay, those are very easy to avoid. Alright, here we go. We shoot rockets. I'm gonna take some damage a little bit here. 
Oh, I need to avoid that, don't I? Oh! Oh, okay. Well, it's okay. I got, like, the brunt. The, the end of it there. I love how she's completely ignoring my pal. Oh! Alright, we're good. I, I put myself in a bad position, didn't I? Let me out! Let me out! Okay. Okay, we're chilling. We can do this. 70,000? We can do this. Oh, nice hit, bro. Only 1,000, but I'll take that hit. Oh, that was bad. Okay, so a little more. A little more. Okay. I, if I reload, we win. Let's go, baby. Get that out of my face. Line lean, first try. Woo. All right. We got Lily's hat. Very cool. Now we can dress up like Lily. Shout out Lily. All right. Not bad, bro. Not bad. Two, the first two bosses are down. Who's next? Let's see. So we did that one. We did that one. So we got three more. We've got Eternal Pyre. We've got... The desert. Oh, and then we got this one, and then we also got the new one. Which one's next? Alright. Axel and Orzerk. I think we're ready. Here we go. So, they are down here. Which is weird, right? A volcano. Super hot. And we're fighting an electric type pal. It's a little confusing. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little confused. Here we go. Uh, I want to do the hard mode. Wait. Why is it saying... Why can't I do hard mode? Did I not beat it? Like, under normal circumstances? There's no way I didn't beat it under normal circumstances. I, dude, I swear to God I did. Like, don't I have, like, a video out about it? Alright. Well, let's beat him up one time. Let's piece him up. Give him the, you know, the two-piece with the soda real quick. That's such a sick animation. Too bad you suck. Alright, here we go. We're gonna beat you up twice. One on normal one mode and the one without normal mode. Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna even bother. Oh, you know what? I will bother. Here. You're gonna take the full brunt of the combo because you're being a butthole, and wouldn't and you wouldn't let me fight you in normal hard mode. All right, two more bullets and we're there. Yeah, this isn't hard at all. We're looking for the challenge. Again, I I don't know why it wouldn't let me. Why wouldn't you let me do it in hard mode? Am I tripping? Am I crazy? Did I do something wrong? Or do I need to defeat the other one in hard mode first? No, okay, for some reason it just like didn't count it as like me. Okay, whatever. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and do this. The hard version, here we go. Yeah, that's that was a weird little glitch. Maybe when I move around my worlds and stuff, it, it just like confused it, I don't know. But here we go. Rostallion, you come out. I didn't reload. I didn't reload my missiles. That was a pretty big mistake on my end, actually. My Frostalian's already almost dead. A little more. No! Come on, dude, I had it. All right, we're gonna do it right this time. V, there we go, okay. Big battle, big battle, here we go. It's time, hard mode. Axel and Orzerk. How hard could it be, right? Think. I mean, to be honest, I kind of hurt. I I beat it. I just got really unlucky with the last series of attacks there. Okay, that sucks for me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, okay. We're dodging. We're dodging. We're nasty. Anubis is actually doing something over there. Cool. All right, you go, Anubis. Oh, dodged. You suck. Get out of my face. 
Is that gonna hit? Oh yeah, baby. Alright. Back to 100,000. You missed. Anubis, so are you still good? You rolling? Oh my god, why are you right next to me? You rolling? I need you to do something, but Instead of walking around? Yeah, oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Hit him in the face. Tom Aspinall, come on, bro. Anubis! Get out of my way, you bozo. Oh, this is gonna hurt me. Alright, come on. Not like last time. Not like last time. Alright, this is it. That's GG's, right? Yeah, get out of my face. Okay, Warzerk, Axel, hard mode. We got the Axel hat. Cool. Let's see what that looks like on me once I get out of the heat. The heat is not a good look on me. I get all sweaty. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get out of the heat. Next up, we'll have Marcus and Phalaris. But I want to see what this Mar Axel hat looks like.